Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up footstep sounds like this so that your character can walk and play a little step sound every time a foot hits. It's just a nice, easy trick to line them up and make it all work. So to set this up, what we're going to use is animation events. So I'll select my character here, and then on the model, we just need to make sure we're on the animation tab, and we can scroll right down to the events section. So right here is a little expandable area. Expand this out, and we can start hooking up these events. Now I already have two assigned, so I'm going to select them and just delete them real quick and show you how to hook these up. So the first thing I'll do is kind of get into position on the model so I can see the character's feet really well. I want to get a good view of where their feet are when they're landing. Then I'll grab the little bar here and just wait, drag it up until the heel is just a hitting. So I think it's oh, right about there. Then under the events area, we just hit the button to add an event and I'm calling this step. So there's our left foot step. Now I'm gonna scroll over to the right because I also need it for the right foot. So I wanna get it right when that heel is coming down, right about there. And we're gonna add another event, just hit the button again and name it step again. Now you might notice that this says function. There are also some variables here. We're not gonna use those. We just care about the function name. What this does is tell the engine to call this function step on any class that's, or any mono behavior component that's on this game object at the same level as the animator. So here, let's apply the change and take a quick look at the character. The character has the animator here with a controller that just plays the walking animation that I just showed you. And then we have a, an audio source and a footsteps script. So I'm gonna open up this footstep script since this is what's doing the rest of the work. So our footstep script has an array of audio clips that's just so we can randomly select and get a little bit of variety there. And then we have a reference to an audio source that we cache in awake. So here we just get the component because we're gonna be playing sound effects on this all the time, basically whenever we take a step. Now this is the important part. So remember we named that function step. That hooks up to this. So whenever the animation event fires off, which is every time the step goes through, let's take another quick look at that. So every time one of these events fires, let's go down to events right here, we get this step function called. Again, it goes on all of the mono behaviors on this game object. So this code will get called and we'll choose a random clip. And to choose a random clip, I just get back a random uh, clip from the array by doing a random range from zero to the length of the clips and returning back that index. And then we use audio source.play one shot, pass in the clip, and we get the sound effect. So again, these line up with the steps right there. We'll press play one more time and just watch it. There we go. So you can see the steps and the sound effects line up. So we can use this for other things too. It doesn't just have to be footsteps. We can use these for weapon swings, um, for climbing sounds, falling sounds. You know, maybe you want to have a character fall down and make an impact when they do their roll on the ground or something like that. You can use them for a big variety of stuff, but it is important to note that when you re-import these animations, at least in the past when I've done it, the events get overwritten, overwritten or deleted. So it's and it's kind of hard to notice when these events are missing. So just watch out for that. Um, watch out for the events maybe being missing and something not working. I wouldn't hook up any big game logic to it, ideally, just because sometimes I've broken them in the past. Other people have broken them and it can be a problem. But for things like audio effects, no harm at all, right? Worst case, you lose some footstep sounds. But yep, I think that's all there is to it. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show another way that you can use this and vary the sound effects based off of what you're stepping on. So we can have it sound like grass, stone, and then mud based off of just where you are on the terrain. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe so you can get a notification when that video comes up. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks again for watching.